Hey guys, Crazy Dave here. Man, do I have a crazy idea. My work is doing a cookie contest and they do it every year and they have been doing it for many, many years. So this year I decided to be crazy and earn my name, Crazy Dave's Kitchen. I'm going to make a cookie, but not just any cookie. I'm going to do a barbecue brisket cookie. That's right. A barbecue brisket cookie. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so what are the ingredients to make the barbecue brisket cookies? Well, of course, you need some barbecue brisket over here. But for the cookie itself, here's what you need. Two sticks of unsalted butter two medium or large eggs. We've got one and a half cup of sugar. We've got one and a one third cup of flour, a quarter cup of corn flour that's basically been grinded up to a really fine powder. We've got three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and then over here is two thirds cup of corn powder. Now what's this? This is basically frozen corn that we grinded up really, really super fine. Well, that's the ingredient you need to make the barbecue brisket cookie. Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the melted butter to the bowl. Just dump it in there, okay. Then we're gonna slowly turn it on and let this mix a little bit. Now as it's mixing, we're going to slowly add the sugar. We're going to incorporate that into the actual mixture. And just keep letting it mix. And keep pouring it all in until it's all mixed in. Next, we're going to add two of the eggs into the mixture and let it mix really well. The mixture right now is on a medium to high speed. Now, we're going to slowly add the flour and let that mix really good. Get that in there. Ooh, look at that glow. Look wow. Next, we're going to add the corn flour. Let's see if we can get another smoke cloud out of that one. Maybe not. Now, we're going to add the baking powder. And hit that really good. Now, we're going to add the baking soda. And again, tap that bowl really good. Add the corn flour. Now it's starting to thaw out. Remember, it was frozen. So now we're just going to knock that in here. Or get in here somehow. And just put it all in. So now we turn the mixer down to low. And we're just going to let this kind of chill out. And just mix really low. And just let it go for a little bit. And mix really, really well. So now that you're done mixing, it should look like this. Or have a consistency looking like some whipped cream. That's okay. Now what you want to do, take a spatula and pour it all down from the sides and into the middle. Then immediately, take the whole bowl and stick it in your freezer for about 30 minutes so that this mixture firms up. So after 30 minutes in the freezer, I removed them and made these little tiny drop balls. And now I'm going to put it into the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes, we removed the cookies from the oven and we're letting them rest here. At the same time, we're gonna pull the barbecue We're gonna see whether or not we can assemble these to make like a cookie sandwich with the barbecue brisket. So now we added some barbecue brisket to the cookie that we turned upside down. We're going to put the lid on top, and now you have a cookie sandwich with barbecue brisket in it. 
or you can do this and lay the barbecue brisket on the cookie. Now eventually I'm going to still play with this recipe and maybe actually add the barbecue brisket into the mixture and cook it that way. Well there you go, barbecue brisket cookie. Hey guys, a little coffee bean here. At first I thought my dad was crazy, but when I tried the cookies, they're actually pretty darn good.